Hi everyone, this is Alexander Antsipov. Recently, I have got a question how to store securely username and password on a mobile phone. And especially for that, I created new API plugin and now I am going to demonstrate how it works. First, let's create new application, My Secure App. To enable secure storage functionality, we have to add API plugin, Secure Storage. Plugin already includes one screen, secure storage screen. Let's test how it works. For that, let's change default routing and test. Application is ready and first, what we can do, we can store something by key. So let's set key A and value B. And then we can read value of key A. Let's change value of key A and again read it. Now let's take a look how to implement this application by yourself. So go to API, open screen 1. Let's add input field for key, input field for value and button. Let's change label to key. Second label will be value. Button text will be save. And after pressing on save button, we will store the value for this key securely. For that, let's add data source. Secure storage set key service with name save and now let's perform mapping. We will map input first on the key and second input on the value. Save. And let's invoke the service after clicking on save button. Invoke service. Now let's create another screen. where we will read a value from secure storage by key. Let's add first input, then button and another input. First label will be key, second will be value and button will be read. Then we have to add data source, secure storage key, get key service. With name read and perform mapping. First, we'll map the first input on the key and then configure mapping for response. So, value we will map on second input. Okay, and now we have to say that the service should be invoked after clicking on the read button. And in order to make our testing more convenient, let's add another button for navigation from screen 1 to screen 2. Ok, let's change text and provide routing screen 2. Now let's change back default routing to screen 1 and test. Application is ready and now let's specify key A and value 1 to 3, press save. Then let's go to screen 2, provide key A and read value. As you see, application works as we expected. And last I want to explain how it works. Uh, you have to understand that uh, in preview mode uh, we don't store uh, value of the key securely. We use an ordinary local storage and really our value will be stored securely only on mobile phone. So if you will open app setting and then Cordova plugin, you can notice that this plugin automatically enable secure storage Cordova plugin, which is responsible for storing securely user data.